Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Windmaster petrol lighter advertising Whirlpool home appliances. It is a single color etch and paint type graphic. Slider shows plenty of wear, scuffs, dings, scratches to the plating. In some lights, it appears as though the chrome has two different types of finish. One looks a little bit flatter than the other. The chrome on the lid has a tendency to look more high polish, where the chrome on the slip case of the lighter appears a little more brushed or you can see the grain in the metal or perhaps it is just more scratched. I've been carrying this lighter around in my pocket for the last week and I rather like it there. It is a little bit dirty. There is plenty of soot and carbon buildup and I gave it a quick once over with the disinfectant wipes the common household I don't remember which one it is that I currently have is Clorox or Lysol wipes cleaned up some of it there's plenty of scratches there as well from that lid scraping against it as the flame is being snuffed with the wick at the length that it is, it puts forth a rather large flame as well. Still has the old wick in it, which is pretty dirty looking. There's some dents or small dings here along the lid. I guess probably I would refer to those three along the top there as small dents rather than dings. The striations on the front of the lid really help you to gain purchase in opening the lighter. There are no markings on the bottom, but you can see there is a dent there along the side of the bottom edge. And this lighter does have plenty of dents, dings, scratches, scuffs, carbon buildup, dirty wick, corrosion, some plating loss, but overall a very nice looking lighter and a really well functioning lighter. Has some heft in your hand, it's not light like all those Park and Storm Kings that I've been carrying around lately. And you can see if you want to light it to use for just a regular cigarette, the flame will come through the top there although with this particular lighter I don't know if it is because of the length of that wick or what the particular draw is but that flame was being drawn back into the back of the lid the insert is marked Remembrance Brown and Bigelow St. Paul Minnesota patent number there you can see the corrosion and plating loss that I was speaking of. Some uh, minor rust spots. There appears to be, we'll see in a minute when we get a look underneath the wadding, that some rust has contaminated the felt pad and wadding a little bit shouldn't cause any kind of problem you saw how well the it was lighting so but there is some discoloration some reddish discoloration mainly I think on the pad the wadding looked pretty white and clean but I've seen much dirtier lighters that function just fine so I guess I haven't had that many of these Windmasters and I didn't go back and look at the other video 
before I made this one, but I guess they are not marked on the bottom. They're just marked on the side of the insert, and then they're on both sides of the windscreen, which on this particular lighter isn't a windscreen. It is the pipe apparatus. The slip case is interchangeable in that you can turn it either direction, but I like to keep it facing the camera so that we get the logo in the picture when the lighter is lit. So this is not a lighter that will be going into my collection, nor is it one that will stay in my pocket as it has been for the last week. I do wish that I could afford the luxury of putting more of the lighters that I sell into my pocket and using them because it gives you an appreciation for different kinds of lighters. I've always liked the slipcase lighters and they all have a particular kind of feel maybe because uh, they're so heavy because they are only missing that hollow bottom case but they all also seem to have some kind of spring-loaded lid system that's hidden in the back this one has a hinge but there is still a spring involved that wick is pretty dirty and in the past that would have led me to pull it up and snip it off but I'm just not real keen on cutting on these wicks right at the moment and my current intention I think I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I think I will either replace the whole wick or leave it alone. And as I said, while it may look dirty, it still lights just fine. Feel free to ask any questions you have over there on eBay about the condition of the lighters that I have listed for sale. One of the reasons I started making these videos in the first place was so that you could see the condition of the lighter you could see that it was a functioning lighter see all its blemishes and imperfections right there for yourself both photograph and video evidence for the condition that the lighter is actually in these lighters remind me a lot of the D light not the Ronson D light but the West German D light which was a slipcase lighter had a similar type windscreen to the normal Windmaster, not the pipe uh, Windmaster that we have here. But they also have a very robust, wide file wheel like we have on this Brown and Bigelow Windmaster. Maybe an old Whirlpool repairman or someone whose father was a Whirlpool repairman. I don't know exactly the age of this lighter. Whirlpool, something that I'm really familiar with, and I wasn't born until 1971. So it was definitely still around in the 80s, 90s, was very common. I think it's still around today. So this lighter, I, if I was guessing, I would say probably from the 60s or 70s, but from the looks of that graphic, it wouldn't shock me to find out that it had come from the 80s. Sometimes when you need a pipe lighter, the flame that you get just won't be enough. That's never going to be the problem with this one. You got plenty of flame to suck down in that pipe. Until next time.